it's your girl Shaw here to do a wig tutorial for you guys. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so I know I'm gonna get asked the question, what wig do I have on right now? The wig that I have on right now is Lamont Girl, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Andrea, um, which is the um Andrea. She had Lamont Girl, and I was like, oh, I'm feeling it, you know. And you can make Lamont Girl have you want. You can style it. So whatever. So I will do a story on this one probably for y'all, but not tonight. Um, I went ahead and picked up something else that she had that I saw that I was feeling. This wig is called Sydney Girl. Now you can wear Sydney Girl in two options or two ways, but the main way that they show it on um because it's a full cat wig, they show it as like a half wig. And I don't really like the way this girl is wearing it. And if y'all ever notice that most of them don't really wear it, like, right, or either the picture is not right to the wig. But it's Sydney Girl. This is what she looks like. It is from Preachers. Um, and I got it in a 1B and 27. Um, so it's been turned out on my mannequin, inside out on my mannequin. I did wear it, like, once or twice. Um, but I turned it inside out on my mannequin. I have combs out the curls a little bit because she was really curly but I did comb out the curls and you can wear it as a full wig she does have bangs as you guys can see she has bangs she does have a skin part or whatever um, she comes with two combs one comb in the front and a smaller comb in the back and she is not adjustable okay she does not have um, the hooks so basically I would suggest you bobby pin it down but for me the combs work just fine so and I brushed out the curls and what I did was before I brushed out the curls I sprayed her down with my wet and wavy um, for synthetic and natural ha um, hair weaves tangle free and it's a vitamin E leave-in conditioner so I sprayed her down with this and then I hand comb the curls out like finger comb the curls out um, so I will be right back with her own and we're going to style her and we're going to see how she looks. So I'll be right back y'all. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm putting her on right now and I basically secured a comb in the back and I'm going to put the comb in on the front. And now with this wig, basically you can do it however you want. Now she's been in a side out for a couple days but I still see a little hump in her. So, I might have to do it again or whatever. Um, I'm using a comb just to comb the bangs. Now, what I would suggest to do is because when I wore it, I kind of like cocked it to the side. Yeah, I wanted that. That side cock. So, I cocked it to the side and I had this like this. But what you can do is, I can't find my bobby pins. Let me see. And I don't know I got like a roll of bobby pins. What's going on? Okay. So, you take some bobby pins and what you can do is like basically secure the wig. For your, like if you want to. Like for me, I don't really have to. But you just take and bobby pin it on each side. That didn't work out too well trying to buy the pen just not because the cap was folded. Now cool it, but for some reason it was still folded. Okay, so you just bobby pin it on each side. There we go. And you can use black or brown bobby pins. I just choose to use black. And then it's parted or whatever, however you want it. Um, if you're going to brush with the curls, you can use a bigger like wide, a wider tooth comb and brush the curls. Or you can just finger comb it. And like I said, what I did was I just sprayed it down with this wig spray. And I brushed my curls because I wanted them to free fall kind of. 
like just be looser not be so tight curl and you just spray them and finger curl finger comb and they do get tangled the curls do get tangled but I mean you just untangle it with your hand and finger um, comb yeah, and then after I did that, I like to tuck my hair behind my ear a little bit sometimes. And then just do that. And I threw the, the bang over a little bit. And the same with this. And I'm just going to spray it. And I'm going to... I'm just going to run my fingers through the curls. And you can do the same with the bag if you want to. And y'all, I love this wig. Okay, I I spent and I got this for $19.99. And um, now I bought this one at my local beauty supply, but you can find it on ClaireHairs.com, and you can also find it on HairSisters.com, and you can find it on um, BlackHairSpray.com as well. Um, you can find it for $17.99 on most of those websites. I paid $19.99, but to me it was worth it because it's like if I ordered it, I would have paid for shipping. So it would have been that price or a little bit more. So that was my logic anyway for it. And then I just put the bang over a little bit. And if you want to, you could bobby pin it down just like this. And then the bang will be like swooped or whatever more. And then you can have it like that. But I'm going to try to turn to the side or to the back so y'all can see it or whatever. So that's how she looks in the back. So I hope you guys saw that. Um, and I really like this wig. So it's a good buy. The hair is very, very soft. And I'm telling you, she does not look anything like the girl on the picture to me. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think she look like the girl on the picture? Because I don't think she does. I really don't. I think she looks better than the girl on the picture. But, um, this video also will be a video response to some, um, to Andrea One. She had the same wig, but it was in a different color, and she didn't like the color. So, I'm going to post as a video response so you guys can see, like, the one she had, and then you guys can see mine. And y'all can see that it's an awesome wig. I really like it. So, yes, divas. I will probably have this on in my next videos that I do tonight or whatever. So, okay. So, that's my wig tutorial for tonight, y'all. So, bye. I hope you guys enjoy. And make sure to comment, wait, rate, uh, wait. <laughs> Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, y'all see I'm a big dork. So, anyways. Love y'all, so...